using burlap and socks and t-shirt and these fun neon colors to create these um, wrapped flowers with my flower 3D wrap Sizzix die. And this is the first time I've actually used this die for anything and I like it. It's pretty cool. I like how the flower turned out. Um, here is a completed flower. And to make this, you're just going to need whatever fabric you want or material. You can do it with paper, probably aluminum cans. I don't know why not. You want to just cut out your flower shapes with this die, which I have done here. I actually sprayed them beforehand with the Eileen's um, fabric stiffener. And you can see they're not frayed. Well, the sock's frayed, but they're frayed on the inside anyway. So. I think that was pretty unavoidable, but I still like the look of it in the flower. I think it gives it some fun texture. So to start your flower, the most important thing to know about this, it took me a little bit to catch on to this, you're going to use a bamboo stick or a toothpick or whatever, and you just want to make sure that this bottom part here stays aligned. So here you are. and. You want the inside circle here, the border of that circle, to stay at the same level on whatever you're using to wrap your flower. So that will keep the petals where they're supposed to be in relation to each other. So I wrap my first, my inner petal, and then I use this Beacons Fabric Tack. It is like hot glue in a bottle which is quite handy. Probably way too much, but it dries super quick and it's great on fabric. So I like to kind of put some excess for where I'm starting my next petal. And I think I'll do another one. You can do it. You can wrap as many of these as you want. So you can just keep spiraling them. Just remember to keep the bottom border at the same level. And you can you don't have to use the bamboo skewer once you get started. So hopefully I have Yeah, I need to put some more. Oh, that's going to be enough glue. With burlap, the glue kind of squeezes through the hole, so it's everywhere. And let's go with some t-shirt now. And you can see how stiff these are from the fabric stiffener. I need some more glue. And I think I'll do, it's, that's going to be cool. I'm, I'm putting these on a wreath I'm doing, so I want some variation in size and pattern and texture. So I think that's good for that one. You can see on this flower, I wrapped my inner layer around more. And, I mean, they're way different using the same technique. So, lots of ways you can go with it. 